All right, let's trace a stimulus through this system. Okay, down here, this is U. Well, here you are. I'm kind of disjointed, You're having a rough day. Okay, it must be a Monday. All right, so here you are. And you are at a ball game. Okay. Got it. All right. I'm not an artist, am I? Okay, so you're at a ball game. And you're avidly watching the game. Your child's out there on the pitching mat, pitcher's mound. They are pitching the ball. They're, people are over here cheering. You got all your friends over here cheering for your child. You got this team over there that's watching. They're not cheering, they're taunting, right? Okay, and um, you're engaged in the game. You're really focusing on what's going on here. You're hearing the girls in the dugout who are supporting their teammate. You're hearing these people over here who are, you know, mocking the pitcher. You've got all this sort of traffic noise coming in over here. You've got cars going down the street. You've got this person over here who wants to talk to you and right now you really don't want to talk. So you got blah 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 coming out and there's all this noise. And all of a sudden there's this loud noise over here. Okay, loud noise. And you keep watching the game. And then you hear ambulances coming by. All right, got an ambulance right here, right? Okay, there you go. Now you got a fire truck over here. Ah, look at that. You don't have to really be an artist if you can get some good iconography going right. You got the guy standing up here. Okay. All right. So your attention. All right, here's what's going on. So here you are, you're in the environment. There's all this stuff coming in, right? That we talked about. You've got this coming in. And you maybe didn't even pay attention to that loud noise. And then you started hearing more noises and you started seeing other things. And now you say, goodness, what happened? Oh yeah, there was a loud noise over there. What was that? And you start thinking about it. it because even though you didn't attend to it, because this has a very large capacity, information gets stored there. If you come back, you can kind of get things out of sensory memory that happened very recently. So this all starts happening quickly and you see this, you say, wow, that loud noise must have been something bad. Oh my goodness, look at that. There's smoke over there. What is that smoke? And you think that noise sounded kind of like an explosion. And you realize that now what, what's going on over here, okay? You've got the loud noise that's moved from over here. You've got the smoke going over here and you're thinking that sounds kind of like an explosion. You're getting something out of long-term memory to help you make sense of this. So in working memory, things coming in from both directions, you're trying to make sense loud noise plus smoke. Gosh, that sounds awful lot like an explosion. And now you start paying attention to the ambulance, the fire truck, and lo and behold, later on you find out that a local factory blew up, and these are all the emergency vehicles going over here to work on this. So information from the environment, you're focusing on this. This is where your selective attention is. Automatic attention sort of pulled this in a little bit. You didn't focus on it until you needed to. Brings it in through sensory memory bring it to working memory, you start trying to process what was that noise when it was combined with these things. You say, gosh, emergency vehicles, loud noise, must have been an explosion. And chances are you will store that information later because it's a big event. And what kind of memory will it be? Yes, probably what's called an episodic memory, a memory for an episode, as opposed to a semantic memory, which is the other way that we store memories, right? Semantic memory is our general information an episodic memory is memories for specific events. So I know particular things about softball because I watch a lot of it because my child plays, and then I do have episodic memories for particular events, big events. Generally, softball runs together for me. Yeah, she gens tends to pitch pretty well. I remember that. We won that game, I think. Episodic memory, the day she got hit in the mouth with a softball and damaged a lot of teeth. I have vivid memories of that day. That one stands out because it's a particular episode just like this emergency situation might stand out in your schemes or in your memories of watching softball. So, hope you enjoyed this lesson. We will move on to another chapter soon. Thank you.